Wrong side. Today's a good day. Let's go on a hike, answer some questions, and uh, make a video. We're gonna go climb a Palisade Run. Let's go. Don't mind me, real quick. Gotta eat my PP and J. It's kind of my thing when I get to my destination and I rest. Peanut butter jelly sandwich. Can't beat it. Hey, climb four. My name is Sean, and I live in Grand Junction, Colorado. I'm a 100% disabled veteran, and currently, I'm doing a video for you guys so I can explain some some things about myself. Uh, I'm currently on Palisade Upper Rim Loop. This is probably one of one of my favorite views of my backyard uh, as you can see Ugh. yeah Whew. yeah so i got some questions that i need to be answered for you guys so to begin with what excursion and why am i going to be doing them um i've never done a backcountry expedition i'm wanting to um I just completed a Wounded Warrior Project multi-day clinic where I went rock climbing with some amazing warriors and I've got some inspiration behind me right now <clears throat> with that going on because I've never done that before and I met a major goal so I'm not stopping anymore. My next big thing will be in July. I was accepted with uh, No Barriers USA for their war backcountry warrior expedition that's going to be a week long in Kelly Lake in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Um, I'm not too sure anything much else about it, but that's going to be a week long. Um, after that, hopefully, um, and thankfully, with Climb 4, if I can work up with this gear and such, I have an idea that I want to do the Colorado Trail, um, 567 miles. Um, possibly towards the end of August into September and maybe be off trail in October. I have just started looking into this idea. Um, but my whole thought process is if I can somehow maybe, I don't know, find some kind of a sponsorship or uh, I want to fundraise and give back to charities for veterans mental health because this is what I'm, I'm finding is helping me and that's 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 a beautiful thing um when will i be starting my journeys kind of just went over that july middle of july is uh, my no barriers seven day expedition um uh, backcountry warrior expedition um that's really where i'm probably going to get my feet wet and figure things out um and try to employ some of these skills that i'm trying to learn uh right now through this whole process. Maybe the Colorado Trail, like I stated, end of, end of August, into September, off by October. How long will my journeys be? 
one week will be in July for no barriers in Kelly Lake. And then my goal for the Colorado Trail so far, I'm going to throw it into the middle around 40 days. 40 days, 40 nights. And we'll see what happens. But this is just my initial goals. I'm not anywhere near being totally prepared at all. Um, I need a lot of gear. I need all the gear actually. Um, and I need a few other things to prepare myself in planning. So that's uh, pretty much it. Um, my next portion of, the, of, of these uh, these questions will be down over by uh, some petroglyphs. All right, be right back. Later. Well, not a bad background right here. And the most amazing thing is these people way back then, what did they actually see? What was their view? They tension on obviously the animals and hunting, but it's me. So, well anyway, back to the questions at hand. So the next question is uh, leaving no trace. Um, the seven principles is leaving no trace. I typically follow with my jeeping and my overlanding that I do. So that's pretty much gonna be an easy thing. Now I'm sure that there's things that I need to learn about backpacking <coughs> to fully take out everything that I pack in and pack out. Um, but we're gonna get there. We got some work to do. All right, it's a little busy around here. <clears throat> All right, going on. Making this journey, what do I hope to accomplish? Well, I'm kind of on my own little personal mission kick, I guess. Um, I I want to show and I want to share that it's okay to go explore our backyards. You just got to start there and expand it. And eventually it'll grow and it'll grow and that healing that way is amazing and I've figured it out I think I figured it out but also my personal growth and maybe hopefully raise some funds for veterans mental health and charities and in the long run you know these are my goals and I will accomplish this stuff other organizations that I'm actually part of is Wounded Warrior Project um, alum, and I'm also a No Barriers USA Warrior, and now a Clan4.org member. So with that, my name is Sean. I don't have a trail name yet. However, my social medias are Crazy Navy Vet, and you can find me there. So thank you guys for the opportunity, and yeah, Colorado Trail, huh? Let's do it. Well, there we have it. Palace Loop. Right up there. Woohoo! All right, not a bad day for a five mile hike, thousand foot elevation, in the name of training and mental health. My name is Sean. Thank you, climb4.org. I'm ready.